For those who have been on my channel for a long time, you'll know that I am incredibly reluctant to block or delete any comment or user. I've been very reluctant until very recently to walk away from a discussion, as I have been terrible at spotting trolls, and had this happy delusion that everyone really wants to learn things honestly. The internet has constantly become an uglier and uglier place. There are real people on here who are wanting to learn, but more and more of it is by paid propaganda trolls. They're so damn effective. The first to be discovered are the fossil fuel industry who paid trolls, climate change denialists, who would comment in pro-science websites, either creating division using psychology, or appearing to be a caring, interesting person who was just asking questions. Both tactics seem to work very well in terms of psychology. This person is a regular guy, while that mean old scientist and arrogant know-it-alls are telling you you need to change. As I know this, I now refuse to give them any more outlets for their propaganda on my channel than I have to. If they're asking a legitimate question, I will answer it. If people cite their sources, we can debate. But I'm not wasting my unpaid time giving a platform to quite probably paid trolls. I want to make them work harder, not easier, for their job. With the post-election coverage, finally, about fake news and paid Russian internet trolls, I'm taking the same issue with Trump supporters and the extreme alt-right. I am much more hesitant, and my standards are much less strict as to whom to block and remove as others I know, but I refuse to give Russian trolls an easy job. Sadly, that involves breaking my wish for free expression on my channel in comments, and I will be sure to accidentally eliminate a few people who are legitimate viewers and commenters. But don't worry, the paid Russian and Exxon trolls will get your point of view spread in other comments sections. It pains me to do this, but social, not legal, freedom of speech is a form of prisoner's dilemma. When people are actually willing on both sides to give some and make themselves vulnerable to new ideas, both sides benefit. But when one side makes themselves vulnerable and the other refuses to, it's just bullying and psychological manipulation. I have made myself mentally vulnerable to the wrong people for too long and potentially allowed my channel to help spread doubt from real facts. Sadly, there are days I wonder if there's even a point in using this medium anymore, as it's all confined to algorithm bubbles, so I'm either preaching to the choir or talking to paid trolls to hear me listen, but I have no idea how to communicate with the average person who might need to hear what I have to say or listen to people with a different point of view who may have insight I'm not aware of and are actually genuinely interested in talking and spreading information. So I stay here for now. But if you start sounding like a troll, refuse to make indications of equal vulnerability to ideas and willingness to learn and share information, your comments and person are blocked. Like I said, don't worry, your point of view will get spread just fine by paid trolls.